So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. I'm Peter Drury and joining me here, our expert Jim Beglin. Glad to be here, Peter, and I'm ready to rumble. We stand for the national anthem of France. A moment for pride and reflection as players and supporters stand for the national anthems. Then the lineups for this game. we go then Jim you've played in games of this nature who can make the difference well Peter the explosive Ousmane Dembele is a very interesting player uh, praised by many for his, his game changing qualities his showboating and confidence is, has won him a lot of admirers and he can be a real force if he can add consistency to all of that talent ok interesting Manuel gets it upfield. Ferdinand. Walsh. Tries a through ball. Tries one! Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. And it just goes to show you how effective those through balls can be. All it needed was a better execution. Many Rabio Chomeni Lukiele Perez. Now the pass, Raphael. Passes it through, boots it to safety. Driving on, he could shoot here. It's there! The first touch was absolutely heavenly, and because of it, the finish was a mere formality.
Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Perez. Uh, ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Raphael. Out to the left it goes. Oh, he's in! Nicely controlled. Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. But when he struck that, he must have thought it was going in. Such are the margins of success and failure in this game. That was so close. Rabio. So they got the only goal to make it 1 0. Mukiele. Mukiele. Well positioned to make that interception. Referee's had a look and he's blown his whistle for half time. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Leading 1-0 at the break. <laughs> and the action is back on the way. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. A glorious footwork! It is a corner. Towards the front, right through the middle. Rabio. Mukiele tries to get it forward quickly. Referee's given a throw. France have a sub ready to come on. Crosses one in. And you can get that clear. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Floats one over. Can he put it away? Really well taken goal. Two to the good, they have breathing space. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. It was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. There'll be a change here, there's a man waiting to come on. second goal is such a, a polarizing effect on prospective moods I mean one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three charges in Final checks on the touchline a change about to occur Away from immediate danger. That's a throw. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Getting 
gets it back. Goes out once more. Back to base. Cinema. Balls out on the left now. It's a long forward pass. And the flag has stayed down. Oh, that's neat. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Has a hit! Dembele. Plays it out to the wing. And that's that. A decent win via a very competent performance. Without doubt, they were the better side, and the result reflects as much. Well, what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? There's a solidity about them, almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold. That eases the pressure on the strikers, who can afford to be patient, and it's all paid off. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening.